And the bedlam jobs are you just go into a particular hold and steal 500 gold worth of items. Doesn't matter where uh, where you steal them from. Doesn't matter uh, what you steal as long as it in total as long as it's in the same hold and in total it's worth 500. Uh, the most useful jobs to do for Delvin are the fishing jobs because they're relatively easy to complete and oh, he got tired of waiting for me to he got tired of waiting on me the fishing jobs are the most uh, are the best ones to do because they let you raise your pickpocket skill so let's see Markarth, okay. I'm actually gonna cancel that. Can I cancel that? Be Keep dropping these jobs, and I might quit assigning them yeah, to I'm gonna go ahead and fail that, and now I'm just gonna quick save. It's useful to quick save before you actually talk to them to get the job, because if you want to get all of these things done quickly and actually become Thieves Guildmaster, Okay, Windhelm, good. I haven't done enough jobs in there yet. Uh, just keep track of the cities that you're doing jobs in. And once you've done five, just uh, quick save and before accepting a job. And if they give you a job in the city that you've already done five jobs for, just reload and uh, go through the conversation again until they give you uh, one in a different job. He runs the more up close now Vex gives you burglary, shill, sweep, and heist jobs. Burglary, you go into a particular house and steal a specific item. Uh, shill is sort of the opposite of burglary. You still go to a specific house, but instead of stealing a, a specific item, you plant a stolen item inside the house. Uh, sweep job is sort of like the burglary job, only instead of only stealing one item, you're stealing three particular items. And heist jobs is when you go into a store, you find the store's lockbox, and you steal everything inside the lockbox. I personally prefer doing the sweep jobs. One of the quickest ways to make some coin. If you're in, what do you say? Whatever. Just get it done. Here's the job. Now, please give me something that isn't in Markarth. Whiterun. That's good. That's actually great, because Whiterun, I have already done four other jobs for. So, uh, after I finish this, I'll be able to do the uh, special job for Whiterun. So let's go ahead and do the uh, Windhelm job first. Okay, now where am I going? Who am I? Who's my target here? There he is. I, I have to steal from a beggar? Seriously? I lost my twin sister a while back. Have you ever lost anyone close? Not really. Stop talking to me, people. Wait, no, that's not the spell I want to cast. That's the spell I want to cast. There we go. Why does a beggar have a mace? Whatever. Okay. Quick save. Pickpocket. And the item that you're looking for is always uh, named. So it's easy to figure out what exactly you're looking for. Oh, hello, Rifting Guard. Or not Rifting Guard, but Windhelm Guard. So, that's all there is to the fishing job. And now we go to right run. <laughs> White run. Did 
Do you get to the cloud district very often? Oh, what am I saying? Oh, shut up, Nazim. You are so lucky I cannot kill you. Now, what was it I had to do here? House of Clan Battleborn. So I get to go over here. Novice lock, huh? You'd think, being one of the wealthiest families in Whiterun, would actually let you have, uh, you know, better locks. It's to earn. And I just stole it. Okay. Steal the jeweled pitcher. Where's the last one? The last one is upstairs. I need to leave, what? Okay, somehow I was being detected even though I wasn't uh, detected. Somehow. Uh, I don't know what was going on there. I blame Skyrim programming. Thank you, Bethesda. you want your share now. Here you go. Welcome to the cozy little family. I we actually got to a request. Make your way up there and look for Alfred. He says he's got a matter that requires a delicate touch, but I suggest you for the job. Don't make me the fool and let me down, all right? This kind of work suits you, but it's going to end up making you rich. If you're looking for extra work, talk to Vex or Delvin. Okay, so now that that's done, we get to go back to Whiterun and do the special Whiterun job. This way, I believe. Or, no, he's over here. Yeah, there he is. Ulfred, patron of the great clan Battleborn. You're here, and not a moment too soon. If anything should happen to Arn, there'll be hell to pay. A close friend of mine. We fought together on the battlefield for many years until old age got the better of us. Now it's up to me to save him one more time. This time, from the executioner's block in solitude. The city guard in solitude is seeking on for a serious crime. When he fled here, he was arrested for drunken behavior. Can you imagine? Fortunately. His identity isn't known to the authorities in Whiterun, so there's still a chance to save him. Hold a moment. This is more than a simple prison break. I want to have Arn's name stricken from the record books permanently. 
I'm setting him up with a new identity. It's the only way to throw the guard permanently off his trail. The job is twofold. First, steal a letter that was sent from Solitude warning White Run's guard to be on the lookout for Arn. The second is to change Arn's name in the prison registry to his new identity. If it was easy, I would have hired a local thumb instead of a professional. You see, both of these items are kept inside Dragon's Reach. They don't allow visitors inside the Jarls or the Steward's Chambers. One more thing. If you get caught, I can't afford to be connected to you. Remember that before you do anything stupid. You watch yourself out there. So, this job is actually pretty easy. Mostly because you have free reign over Dragon's Reach, because by this point you should be Thane of Whiterun. So, the guards don't look twice at you. I won't even have to really sneak around all that much. So that's where the letter is, and the registry is right here. And that's it. This will give all your fences more gold, but does not unlock a fence because the fence in Whiterun has already been unlocked. It's the dude that is in Haunting Brew Meadery. So, you don't get a fence for doing this job, but you do still get the bonus gold and the extra merchant in the Ragged Flagon. And I'm gonna have to wait here until he comes out. Okay, now where the hell did he go? Okay, he's in here. Drunken Huntsman. Got something for just about everybody. There he is. Give all oh, friend. You have any questions. Hey, Arn? Never heard of him. <laughs> I guess that tell Delvin that he has my support and all the weight it carries in White Run from now on. I think he'll be quite pleased. You watch yourself. So now that's done. Still have quite a good bit of jobs available. Alfred sent ahead his compliments. Looks like his friend Arn is soon to be released, thanks to his brand new identity. More importantly, he's pledged the full support of the Battleborn clan to the Thieves Guild. We're still growing by leaps and bounds thanks to you. 
but other merchants moved into the space outside the flagon.